We want to get to some examples, and the next one is ah, withholding tax regimes. Ah, so we want to talk, what I want to talk about now is dividends, interests, and royalties. And basically, here is how you do your tax planning. Remember, number one, we're still on tax planning here. So let's just rub this off for a moment. How do you do tax planning? Well, you're going to play, you, you want to play with dividends. Okay? But as you'll see in a minute, dividends don't give you total flexibility. Ah, is there anything else you can do? Ah, yes, let's, uh, we can have, let's work with interest. Ah, very, very good idea. That I means you can set the interest on a loan from one company to another. In, other, in, all the, in other words, in order to transfer money from one company to another. Ah, can you do that? Sure you can. You could get a loan from a bank in another country, in another currency, and you pay interest to that, com that bank in another country. You might get a lower interest rate than you would if you borrowed in the same country. But the big thing here about interest is uh, thin capitalization. But we'll come to that in a minute. What's the third thing that you can do with tax planning? You can have royalties. Now, uh, this is a very secret tonight. I'm going to reveal to you some secrets. So please, you know, just keep your lips sealed. What we talk about tonight, very top secret, right? You can use royalties. What's a royalty? Well, I'm going to give you an example of what Starbucks or Apple does. What else could you do if you, if you don't use royalties? Well, use thin capitalization. I'm going to talk about that. And what else can you do? What's left? What else can you do? If you can't use dividends, interest, royalties, thin capitalization, what's left? I'm excited. What's left? Would you like to guess? I'll give you a hint. What's next week's topic? Yes, you got it. Oh, you're so smart. All right, transfer pricing. That's what's left. That's why next week we dedicate a whole week, actually next two weeks. Okay, when all else fails, let's use transfer pricing. But then they're cracking down on transfer pricing too, but you'll learn all about that next week. We'll talk about that next week. All right, so allow, that, allow us to talk about that next week, okay? Let's push that away and let's deal with the first four tonight, okay? You happy with that? That's enough. There's enough to bite off for tonight. I think you've got two meals in one here. Yeke la me. All right, two meals. There's a lot to bite off tonight. All right, so what do we mean by how can we use interest and royalties or how can we use this? Like interest, thin capitalization is exam one example of interest, but there's just pure examples of interest. So Starbucks, you know Starbucks set up in England, right? In a little country on the other side of Europe, 30 miles on the other side of France. You have, how many of you have been to Great Britain? Okay, so one of you. Okay, so it does exist, right? I don't want to, you know, all right? Starbucks, how many of you know what Starbucks is? Start, how many of you know what Starbucks is? Come on, hands up. You don't know Starbucks. Coffee, right. Okay, so what does Starbucks do? What does it do in England? What is the business? Yes, it sells coffee and lots of it. Millions and millions of coffee every week. It makes millions of dollars. All right? But guess what? Uh, two years ago, maybe two and a half years ago, Starbucks reported... Uh, enough profits that didn't have to pay any tax at all in England, all right? Wow! How did it do that? Well, very easy, because Ireland, which is just on the other side, do you all know Ireland? How many of you have been to Ireland? They got their Ireland subsidiary to charge their UK subsidiary interest. Ah, so therefore money from the selling the coffee goes into the Ireland subsidiary. And of course, very low tax for Ireland. Very low tax. Is it? Let's, let, uh, don't, let, let me not lie to you. Let's just double check. Is Ireland, it, is it in here? It's not even in a, a tax haven, but it's very low. Let's just see if Ireland... 12.5%! You've got to be joking! Oh, yes, that's perfect. Okay, let's see what we can do. Wow, let's charge interest there. So we get away from 
paying 30 plus and we put that profit into an area that's only we have to pay 12 and a half percent okay is there something else we can do oh yes we can let's do some royalties let's charge some royalties to the Starbucks income statement where is that oh it's going to be a little place called Netherlands where half of it is under the sea okay and so the Netherlands subsidiary charged a royalty fee so therefore money from all that coffee goes to the Netherlands and then Starbucks said oh no no we don't pay any tax this year yippee and guess what all of Great Britain was in uproar how dare you do that not not just because you're an American company but you sell all this coffee and you pay no tax and there was an uproar do you know what happened well the UK Parliament started talking about that but you know governments are very very slow at reacting yeah, they take forever to make decisions but there was another movement that was even faster than that and there was the social media and they piled on all the negative stuff on Starbucks started boycotting Starbucks and then Starbucks reacted to that and they 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 decided to back off back off not so much and to pay taxes in the UK even before the Parliament came up with a new law to, to stop what was going on okay now do you think Apple has to do that because Apple's doing a similar thing no but do you think the social media boycott of Apple would stop Apple doing what it's doing it's Apple is doing exactly what Starbucks is doing the same structure using different vehicles charging interest other vehicles from a low tax country their their island company is charging royalty fees uh, to its uh, US subsidiary okay 35 percent US 12 and a half percent Ireland perfect isn't it it's still going on so I just want to ask you okay it, is coffee different from computer what's the big difference yeah with coffee every day computer just once every two or three years or for some of us five years or longer right so you can't boycott Apple like you can boycott Starbucks you see that ah you see so what is the moral of the story make sure you don't develop and make a product that people buy every day all right because if you do you've got no tax planning strategy okay but if you make something that people buy once a year or longer all right now you can have a tax planning strategy all right so that's the big difference between Starbucks versus Apple okay so do you understand how you can use interest you can use royalties to get money out of one country into another legally all right so